channel. I'm Stephanie. If you're new here, I do air fryer videos every Friday or every other Friday, depending on when I can get them out for you guys. I try to at least get two air fryer videos out in a month for you guys and on Fridays. If I can sneak extra ones in, I try to do that also. But today we are going to be making Parmesan chicken on dinner rolls. So these are the things that I have and I got these from Walmart. Um, that's usually where I go shopping. If you guys want, you can check out my uh, grocery haul. I'll leave it up above and you guys can go check that one out. Um, but we'll get started and I'll show you what I have. So I have a package of chicken patties. I have the butternut brown and serve. I have just a jar of spaghetti sauce. Um, depending on how much you guys are gonna make, you don't really need a big one um, if you're just gonna make a small batch of these. I have garlic salt, parsley. We're gonna be using this with melted butter. I also have a package of mozzarella. I'm gonna start cooking our chicken patties first. All I'm gonna cook today is as many as I can fit in my air fryer. All right, so we're gonna start with four patties. If you can get more than that in your air fryer, that's fine, go ahead and do that. I probably could get away with putting in five in here, but I'm just gonna do four for right now. And that's just, so I could probably stick another one in there, but I'm only gonna do four right now. So I'm just gonna make just like a, regular single batch of these. But if you wanna do more, you could actually use the oven and make a bigger batch in the oven. But I'm gonna just show you how to use it in the air fryer today. So we are going to set our air fryer to 400 degrees. You're going to cook these for seven to eight minutes and you're going to wanna to flip that in between. So. And halfway through the cook time, you're gonna come back and just flip the chicken over and then cook them the rest of the time and I'll come back. Okay, so my chicken patties are done. I am going to put them on um, my cutting board quick and then I'm gonna cut them in pieces so that they fit right on the dinner rolls. So I'm gonna get um, a fork quick so I can pull these out or something to grab these out. I'll be right back. I'm just going to take these out. Okay. So all I'm going to do is just cut them in half. And set them to the side. Okay. So... What you're gonna wanna do is take your dinner rolls and I'm gonna only take um, a section of my dinner rolls because that's pretty much what's gonna fit in my air fryer. So we're gonna just start out with this amount for starters. You're going to want to cut all of them in half. So you're gonna want a top and a bottom. Lay all the bottom ones the way I have it right here. So all the tops will go on after. You're just gonna wanna line them up right here. Um, if I were to be just doing this and not making a video, I would probably already put it in my air fryer just because now I have to pick this up and put it in there. But for the video, I'm just gonna show you how to do it this way. So you're gonna wanna line them up like this. You're gonna take your um, spaghetti sauce and you're just gonna put a layer on the dinner rolls. And you can use as much as you would like. Cheese. 
So this is what I was saying. Like it would just be easier if I just did it in my air fryer, but we're just gonna go with this for right now. And then you're gonna wanna take your chicken and place it on the dinner rolls, whatever way that you can get them all on there. So even if you have to cut them up in different ways for you to, you know, fit these on. Okay, so I'm just gonna go like this and you can do whatever you need to do to make this all fit on here. I'm gonna add another layer of spaghetti sauce. And then I'm also gonna layer another layer of cheese. And I'm going to put the tops back on. Okay, so now I'm gonna go melt my butter and I'll be right back. Okay, so I melted my butter. I am going to put in some garlic salt, parsley to that. You can use Italian or you can add whatever you want um, to top these off with. And then you're going to just put this all on top. And then I'm going to put back in the air fryer and we are going to cook it just for a little bit longer. So you can kind of see where I'm going with, this is gonna be hard to get back in my air fryer, but if you guys are just doing it at home, just put it automatically straight back into the air fryer. I am not going to clean my air fryer from me having the chicken in there because everything is going to be hot. So I'm just going to let it as is. And if you guys want, you can always put a piece of foil in here when you put the chicken down. So if you want a cleaner surface to work with when you put this in here. So I'm going to go ahead and try to get this in there without messing it up. Okay, so I got it in my air fryer. They kind of fell apart just a little bit, but if you can kind of like piece it together, that's fine. Or I could have used a piece of foil and helped put it in there or used one of my um, kits for my air fryer. I could have did it that way and just used a different pan to place in there. But um, we're just gonna go with this for right now. So I'm going to set my air fryer here. I'm just gonna push you guys up just a little bit. I'm gonna start my air fryer. I'm gonna go down to 350 and we are going to cook them for three minutes okay so i pulled them out after three minutes and i would say to probably use a pan or foil or something to take them out of the air fryer i had a hard time just kind of scooping them up and putting them on my plate unless you're just making like one hamburger bun one patty on there and you can do that also instead of making like mini ones you could do that too um, and then that would be easier for you to uh, take out of the air fryer. I'm gonna cut into this and show you guys um, so what you're gonna want to do if your chicken still has full pieces um, because we kind of just placed it on there but if you want to make just like little bite-sized pieces or little mini buns like for my kids then I would just be cutting them up so they can have their own but if you want to make them bigger like I said put them on a regular hamburger bun um but all right so there you go I'm gonna try one out here my kids are standing behind me waiting to try them so They taste pretty good. Oh, so they taste just like Parmesan chicken with a bun. This tastes pretty good. So go ahead and leave me a comment if you guys have any other ideas that you would like me to try in the air fryer. Let me know if you guys tried this already or if you guys tried another thing with chicken patties or anything like that in the air fryer. Just leave everything down in 
the comments. I will leave the recipe and all the ingredients down in the description. It's just right below the video. I know a lot of people have a hard time finding that. It's just right down below the video. There's like a little triangle you can click on and then everything pulls down. I have a bunch of stuff in there. I have like kits and stuff that you can add to your air fryer and I'm just using this one. So I have a Power XL and I'm just adding the accessory kits and stuff with this one, not this one. Um, that's all down below. And then I also have have links if you guys want to buy an air fryer um, for the Power XL and then also the 10 quart. I have all the links down below and you guys can check that out. Um, otherwise, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.